Hello YouTube and welcome to another Grumforks KSP Mod Spotlight. In today's episode we will be featuring this lovely mod which is Procedural Dynamics, Procedural Wing. This fantastic piece of work is actually intended to make creating of the wings and other control surfaces for the aeroplanes and space planes intuitive and simple. So big kudos for that and uh, yeah. So let's go over the parts that you have in place. Uh, I have created a several planes and this wings as you can see are all procedural. This mod is not the B9 procedural wings, which is another alternative, but this one, as opposed to the B9, is a little bit simpler to just extend. It is less, it has less options, but it is, doesn't have size limitations that the B9 one has. And actually, guys, it's my favorite mod when it comes to creating wings on space planes. Uh, I just love it. It's amazing. And as you can see, the one fin in the forward, it's all moving wings. So below you have B9, above that you have Space Plane Plus, then you have uh, uh, some Mark IV, and above that Mark II round wings. And as you can see, I'm twisting the control surfaces. Those are also procedural, and you can actually use them, I guess, for creating, you know control surfaces and then tweaking them to your liking. Okay, so this is pretty much how it looks like and uh, yeah, let me show you now in the following video on how to actually create them. So um, it's very interesting that you can adjust the whole shape of every single wing. So. My actually favorite is the ones for the Mark II, the Space Plane Plus wing, and these winglets that you see on the corners I have added myself. Um, another benefit is, as opposed to the stock wings that you have to tile, like the small, you know, tiles, this is wings comes as a single or maybe two parts. So it also drastically reduces your part count, which I, in my opinion, is just fantastic. It really pays off when you're making huge space planes. I mean, I cannot I cannot emphasize this enough. Okay, so here is an example how you do it. So, we have already here one all moving wing, but let's take the B9 wing and put it on top of this big bad boy. So, you put it as any other wing and um, then you use B T and G. B extends the base of the wing, T it says, uh, and moving the mouse extends the tip of the wing, and G is what I'm, T is what I'm using now to reduce the tip, B the base, and G to extrude the wings out. Then you can tweak all of the parameters, um, all the other parameters out, and then you just basically add some more wings. So while I'm showing you how it works, so this is extending the base, then reducing the fin, and then just extending the wing. And you do that by simply hovering over the wing and moving your mouse. It's, it's so simple. Another cool feature that I like is that you can actually match the wing tips, so you can actually tile them one at a time, but also, um, you know, so that the second one that you add just continues on the first one. And for my idea, it's fantastic for creating wingtips, as you can see in the plane above. They just look really, really cool. So it's really, really simple using that mod. By the way, uh, uh, we have to give credits where the credit is due. The original mod was created by the forum user DYJ, uh, and uh, he... Uh, is the original mod creator, but this mod is now updated for the version 105 and maintained by user uh, Kryzin Random. I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but I mean, 
it's not the easiest username to say. But he will be maintaining that mod together with Taniwa and Nathan Kel. So big kudos for you guys and a big shout out to you. Thank you so much for updating that mod and also big thank you to DYJ for also making it in the first place. And now you can see me adding a couple of procedural control surfaces and the ru same rules apply. B for one for the left tip, T for the right tip and G for the length of the procedural surface. Right click you have some more options and it simply works that way. So, what is actually the main benefit? As you can see in this hideous SSTO that I'm making, uh, this is how my SSTO would look like if I was using the stock wings. Granted, there are many talented KSP players that actually make amazing planes and space planes using just the stock wings, and big kudos to you guys, but I'm simply not that talented. I think, for me, this actually is, yeah, it's a decent space plane, but it doesn't look beautiful, and I really fall for beautiful design. So, let me see how, as opposed to tiling the wings like that, how easy it is to just create a space plane uh, using the procedural wings. So, let me show you. We're going for the space plane plus look. So using the double symmetry and now expanding the base using the B, shrinking the tip and extending the wings using the G. And it's so simple, you just hover over the wings and move the mouse. It's really one to three process. And immediately you have a beautiful space plane delta wing. Then let's put some wing tips on the wings. Perfect. Then we press mark the taper ratio so that we basically match the tip and then let's just rotate them and create wing tips. By the way, these procedural wings work fantastic with Ferrum Aerospace Research and since I'm always playing with that, it's pretty much mandatory for me, I think it's a fantastic addition. Really, really awesome piece of work. Okay, so now I'm tweaking some procedural controls uh, or control surfaces and you can adjust also root and tip thickness so you don't get this you know ugly scaling issues and this is how you adjust them and here is what they look like okay they look a little bit too big so I'm thinking maybe I should shorten them up and um, you make them longer or shorter uh, one way or the other so right now I want to put canards and the benefit is as I'm moving these wings, my center of mass remains, but center of lift is being updated. So it becomes very easy to put center of lift exactly where you want it. Okay, so enough with the talk. Let's slap on some wheels on this bad boy and let us see how it performs. Okay, let's just... Uh, one thing that actually I like to do before I do that, I like to put zero yaw authority on the on the flap surfaces and full yaw authority to the tails. Okay, that being said, let me show you how it works. You've seen, you've seen a short preview uh, in the title video, but yeah. And besides, above all things, this space plane just looks plain beautiful and it controls like a dream. So as you can see I opted for the wings tilted forwards like the front canards you know like a switchblade but as you can see it's very maneuverable and it can do all kinds of maneuvering. So yeah a big kudos to all of the forum guys for doing that amazing work. I'm pretty sure in every my future series that I plan to make I will for sure be featuring this. Granted B9s also have their uses and I will play with them but this is my like I said my favorite parts mod. 
Okay, that brings us pretty much to the end of this episode, guys. Like if you like the episode, hit subscribe for more Mod Spotlight. And until next episode, thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks signing off.